We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well funded. That's why you're going to be moved by a black man. Yeah. Do we have any problems here? What's going on? Everything okay? Everything's fine. I'm, I'm just making sure. I'm here. I'm just a media guy, and that's all I'm doing. I'm with the University of Pennsylvania. No, who are you with? Sorry. I'm security. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think they know about it. I mean, I'm not. I have a poll watcher certificate, so I can go inside. I'm just wondering why you come up taking pictures. I mean, we're. What? I'm just wondering why everybody's taking pictures. That's all. Okay. I mean. No, no, no. I think it might be a little bit intimidating that you have a stick in your hand. That's why. You know. Yes. No, no, no. I'm an attorney. I mean, that's a weapon, so that's why I'm a little worried. I mean, I. I'm a concerned citizen, and I'm just worried that you might be... Okay. so are we. Okay. That's why we're here. Okay, but you have a nightstick in your hand. I mean... You got a camera phone. I have a camera phone, which is not a weapon. Listen. Now, I would like to ask you, sir, if I could, on your live on Fox News right now, did you tell that gentleman that you were tired of white supremacy, or did your colleague say that? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why you're coming up here and making it look like... We are doing something wrong. We are just standing here right now, just serving our people. Okay. Like well, that's terrific. What are you doing? Okay. Is there any reason in particular why you're wearing uh, the uniform? And, and all that there is not necessary. Well, I, I didn't mean to harass you. I'm just here to ask a question. You're that's all. Me. I don't know why you're here at the polling place with the camera in the first place. Well, it's our constitutional right to be at the polling place well, to record I, the... I don't want you recording me. How about the community doesn't want you recording them? People come to vote, and they come to vote in a peaceful, peaceful atmosphere. They don't come to have somebody put, taking cameras and microphones and putting it in their face. Well, what, do people come to vote with expecting to see someone with a nightstick out front? Was that... I'm not, nobody here has a nightstick. And so I don't know what you're talking about. Well, there was a person with a nightstick. We have video of it. I don't care about what was. I'm talking about what is. Okay, well, that person was escorted out of here by the police, that, correct? That, I'm, I, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Well, we have video that, that shows the person with a nightstick standing right next to you on this very curb. You have me telling you that you have no authorization to be here at this polling place. That's what you got. Well, that's that's what they told us earlier when we got here, Trace. And, in fact, we checked with our, our legal department. We checked with the Philadelphia uh, Board of Elections. And, in fact, we do have the legal right to be within 10 feet of the entrance of a polling place. And you should know that. And the other people who work here, including this gentleman right here who told us to leave and called the police on us when we came to check out the reports that we were hearing. This gentleman told us to leave, called the police, the police came and asked us to leave when in fact we do have a legal right, Trace, uh, to be here within 10 feet of the polling place. Yes, we can! The first part is our past, now we the things of our past. Yes, we can! Take more responsibility for our own lives. Yes, we can! Have our own dreams and do not everything is based on your dreams. Yes, we can! What's your problem with Jews? Games. The, are, are Jews responsible the for the loss of Cynthia McKinney? They are. The Why? The Zionist Why are you blaming the Jews? Because, because the media slanted this race in Atlanta some terrible. They never talked about it. It's the media's fault, not her fault. You also said, one of the other things you said the other night, on what led to the loss, Israel, the Zionists, you, to a reporter, put on your yarmulke and celebrate. That is vicious. If you, me, want to, don't, you don't want to call it anti-Semitism, it's certainly anti-Jewish. What's your problem? Let me say this. Let me say this. My problem is, and you know it and the world knows it now, because of what Israel is doing over in Lebanon, that the Jewish people totally control... Why are you pulling for Barack? I'm Barack. Because... To all black Americans who are voting for Barack Obama simply because he is black. I have to say first and foremost that I really do sympathize with your sentiment. Barack! No, I'm voting Barack. You see this right here? Well, yeah. you just pointed at your skin. It's to say that you're black. black. Right, but and so what I'm saying is, are you voting for Barack based that, on... That'd be one of the main reasons. It was a touching moment. Why? Because I never thought this day would ever happen. I won't have to worry about putting gas in my car. I won't have to worry about paying my mortgage. You know, if I, if I help him, he's going to help me. For Barack Obama. 
just because it's time for a change. Someone new in office, someone black. Just to see, you know, what happens. Senator Obama has been a member of the same church in Chicago for 20 years. First pastor has been Reverend Jeremiah Wright. God bless America! No, no, no! Not God bless America! Don't tell me words don't matter! God damn America! That's in the Bible! I don't think that uh, uh, my church is actually particularly controversial. God damn America! He thinks it's important for us to focus on uh, what's happening in Africa. God damn America! Uh, and I agree with him. Rich white people ain't never been called a nigger. Just words. But for 20 years, this pastor has been Reverend Jeremiah Wright. In white America, the U.S. of KKKA, just speeches. Members of the church say he left a lasting impression on them and Senator Obama. A black man living in a country. Let me tell you something. And let me tell you something. That is controlled for the first time. For the first time by white people. I'm really proud of my country. The man who performed the Obama's marriage ceremony. I am sick of Negroes who just do not get it. For over 20 years. For 20 years. Pastor has been Reverend Jeremiah Wright. And John McCain's a good man. He's an American hero. But he has made some bad choices about the company he keeps. The black value system, which was developed by the congregation. Commitment to the black community. Commitment to the black family. Adherence to the black work ethic. Um, it goes on, pledge, you know, acquired skills available to the black community, strengthening and supporting black institutions, pledging allegiance to all black leadership who have embraced the black value system, personal commitment to the embracement of the black value system. Now, Reverend, if every time we said black, if it was a church, and those words were white, what do we call that church racist? The realities are that, you know, as a black man, you know, Barack can get shot going to the gas station. That's just how white folks will do you. It wasn't merely the cruelty involved. I was learning that black people could be mean and then some. It was a particular brand of arrogance, an obtuseness in otherwise sane people that brought forth our bitter laughter. It was as if whites didn't know they were being cruel in the first place, or at least thought you deserving of their scorn. White folks. Senator Obama, I want to begin by asking you about Don Imus. You have condemned his remarks about the women's basketball team at Rutgers. Let me ask you pointedly, do you think he should be fired? Uh, I don't think MSNBC should be carrying uh, the kinds of uh, hateful remarks that uh, Imus uttered the other day. Ray assured me that we would never talk about whites, as whites, in front of whites, without knowing exactly what we were doing without knowing that there might be a price to pay. The polls are showing your husband is trailing Hillary 46% to 37% in the African-American community. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Uh, first of all, I think that that's not going to hold. I'm completely confident. Black America will wake up. <laughs> and yet, even as I imagined myself following Malcolm's call, one line in the book stayed with me. He spoke of a wish he'd once had the wish that the white blood that ran through him, there by an act of violence, might somehow be expunged. The hate hadn't gone away. It formed a counter-narrative, buried deep within each person, and at the center of which stood white people, some cruel, some ignorant, sometimes a single face, sometimes just a faceless image of a system claiming power over our lives. Making was not that my grandmother uh, harbors uh, any racial animosity. She doesn't. Right. But she is a uh, typical white person. Shit's getting way too complicated for me. Who ain't my bitch, nigga? Buy your own damn fries. There are white folks, and then there are ignorant motherfuckers like you. Sure you can have my number, baby. Shoot the cop! Shoot that cop! Shoot him! Police uh, acted stupidly. Obama's gonna change it, Obama.